ग्लेन मेग्रा एक बार फिर से दिल्ली में आए हैं और इस बार उनकी टीम ऑस्ट्रेलिया नहीं बल्कि दिल्ली डेयर डेविल्स की टीम है और जाहिर सी बात है भारतीय क्रिकेट के प्रेमियों के लिए इससे अच्छी बात नहीं है कि ऑस्ट्रेलियाई लेजेंड जो हैं वो दिल्ली टीम की अगुवाई करेंगे गेंदबाजी आक्रमण की गेंद मेग्रा पिछले पिछले दौर पिछले साल बहुत ही कामयाब गेंदबाज रहते हैं आज ये उन्हीं से जानते हैं देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू नो वट डू यू फील दैट टूर्नामेंट हैज़ नॉट सेटेड फ्राम इंडिया टू साउथ अफ्रीका Well, it's uh, you know I enjoyed the tournament here last year. It was an amazing concept, and for a tournament like that to be played in India was always going to be successful. The love, the passion, the crowd, and the locals have for cricket uh, is something very special and very unique. And to play a tournament or play a cricket match in India with the support is something I don't think you get anywhere else in the world. So it is a shame that it's it's being moved to South Africa this year, uh, but. That'll offer different challenges, but uh, and we'll try to make the most of it. But cricket in India is something pretty unique. You haven't played international cricket since last uh, one year, <laughs> and especially coming after such an emotional journey. What happened with your family? Everybody in India is uh, quite emotional about what happened because they idolize their hero. How you how, how it's difficult for you to th then coming back to the cricket field? Uh, it's it's probably a good way for personally for me to escape uh, what's happened recently. I can get out in the field and just concentrate solely on playing. Uh, it's be good to spend some time to myself, even though it'll be tough to be, spend the eight weeks away from my, my two children. Uh, my mum's looking after them, and uh, I'm sure they'll be they'll be uh, right. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. So it's probably good for me to focus on something else at the moment. And what, that's what I'm going to do. For too long, we have been debating who is the greatest: <laughs> Sachin Tendulkar, Bradman, Bran Lara. La last week, we heard from Sir Great Richard Hadley that he said that Tendulkar is the greatest batsman because the kind of success he has achieved in all format of the game. With due respect to what Sir Don has achieved, we would like to know your take because you have bowled to Sachin and dominated a lot. I have bowled to Sachin, but I never bowled to uh, Sir Donald. Um, it's a it is a tough question. It's a question they'll ask for forever, but. My, uh, you know, the way I look at it is, if you're a great player in a certain era, you'd be a great player in any era. So to me, Sachin is definitely up there with one of the best of all the time. Um, you know, it's hard to judge because Sir Donald averaged 99.94, and no other person's got close to it. But um, you know, there's been a lot of comparisons with Sir Donald and Sachin over the years, uh, and you know, I think very, uh, very worthy as well. So Sachin to me is a, is an amazing player. If not, uh, say not comparing comparing with Sir Donald Bradman, is it fair to say that Sachin is probably the greatest batsman of this generation, the generation you played? Um, to me, the two guys that were the standout were Sachin and Brian Lara. So, yeah, you know, they they're the guys that I enjoyed bowling against. They were definitely the standouts. Um, I didn't get I didn't bowl against um, the Australian players too often. So uh, I'd say, outside of Australia, Sachin and Brian definitely. I just heard on, in in the morning on a radio show you would like to reborn as one bowler. Just tell us who and why. <laughs> um, it's hard to, to nail it down to one bowler. I yeah. think I'd like attributes of quite a few bowlers. You know, sort of the three guys I really admired uh, while I was playing were Curtly Ambrose, um, Alan Donald, and Wazi Makram. To me, Wazi Makram is an amazing bowler. But if to combine all three of those, you'd you'd uh, do okay. But you spoke about one of your former teammates. You would like to rebound as Shane Warne. Tell us about that. I think that was uh, that was more about uh, off the field, just uh, the way Shane is and how people perceive him and and what people think of him. You know, he's a, I think he's an amazing guy. Uh, he's a good mate of mine. Um, and yeah, we're just having a bit of fun. One question on your Delhi teammates, the openers, Virinder Sehwag and Gautam Gambhir. Ever since the last cycle, they have been going great guns in all format of the game. And going going into this season, they they are coming in, in the they are in a terrific form. So must be a great news for you. Oh, it's it's brand news. It gives our team a lot of confidence to have two guys at a class probably, you know, up there, if not the best opening batsman in international cricket at the moment, and to have them playing for Delhi, um, and. You know, they should be able to get us off to quite a few good starts. They're in great form at the moment. Hopefully they can bring that confidence into the IPL. And if they do that, then it'll really help our team on the way to winning this tournament. My final question, Glenn. Are you happy that you don't need, uh, you don't have to bowl to someone like Virinder Sehwag? Um, probably at the moment, yeah. But uh, I always, always enjoyed bowling to Viru. He's a type of batsman that will give you the ch a chance to get him out. But if he stays around, he's going to score very quickly. So, uh, I, but I am glad he's in our team. Thanks a lot for talking to Ivan Singh. I wish you all the best for the next season. No worries. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers.